<laughs> we're here for In The Mix TV at Rotation 8 at the Chevron. Lovely favourite old venue in Melbourne. It's been around forever and it keeps, keeps getting used on and on and on. Um, 2,000 people inside for Rotation 8 with um, Aid Fenton and Dave Clark. We've got interviews with... Simon Digby and Kazu Kimura. <laughs> um, talking about their new CD, about the parties and about what's been happening um, in their new releases and their different production movements. Yes, we also spoke to uh, Simon Coyle a little bit about what he's doing with Agent Mad and whatnot. And uh, we got a few insights from the boys about where Techno's heading and what Simon Digby's doing on the house tip and stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah, check it out and um, check it out on the Mix TV. This is our first um, In The Mix TV here in Melbourne. We're outside the Chevron for Rotation 8 and we've got Kazuo Kimura and Simon Kyle. They've just finished their set inside, which was everywhere from really funky, which was really great, and then like really, really hard. You played really, really hard at one stage and I was just sort of standing there. <laughs> what was with that? Oh, I could feel the floor was like starting to get a little bit excited. I knew if we dropped a few hard things, like they'd get right into it. So, uh, cool. and I was cool. setting up Kazu for the last 10 minutes. Yes, yes. Have you guys played together regularly, or? Yeah, well, we doing um, all this tour. I mean, the, all Australia. We doing for CD launch. Uh, we played Sydney and Brisbane, and this is uh, and also Adelaide. We played. All we doing a uh, back to back. Back to back. And um, the Melbourne, partying in Melbourne, DJing in Melbourne compared to Brisbane? Oh, you know, you know what, like Brisbane. Brisbane's but, very different, yeah. Yes, yeah, very different, but still, I mean, it's it's growing. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's this three, four years I can see it's techno, it's getting more popular. But, of course, if you if you compare to Melbourne, Melbourne's always... Techno in, heaven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, techno city. Techno city, definitely. So how's the CD going? Have you seen the sales at all? Has it been good? Yeah, yeah, we did the first shipment that went out because it only got released on hit the shelves about three or four weeks ago, and um, the first shipment that moved out was you know very high. So basically, as long as none of them get returned, it's selling really well, and uh, hopefully they'll you know might repress it and uh, do the next batch you know in the next few months. Now Simon's actually part of the Agent Mad crew who are putting on the um, the party tonight. What's your role with Agent Mad? Well, with Agent Mad, I'm one of one of the many agents who work for that company. Sorry, I should be looking into the camera. Um, but basically, there's around four or five people who work there full time, um, handling different sides of different genres of music, and I do all the techno stuff. So all the rotations and pure flows and all the techno tours that we do around Australia. Um, you know, I'm, I'm involved with that. That's basically it. Who have you got coming up? Um, there's basically Mistress Barbara's coming up in September, who's a really good um, DJ, a uh, girl from Canada, France, and uh, Italian. She's actually from Mixed Blood. Yeah. Very, very good. So she's coming out in September. Ben Sims is here in um, June. Space DJ's in August. Sorry, Ben Sims. Uh, definitely good. He's good. Ben Sims was great last time. He's my favourite DJ in the world. I love that guy. He's, he's amazing and, and he's influenced so many people here in this country. So his return will be highly anticipated. And you're pretty good mates with Space DJs, aren't you? Yeah, they're very cool guys. Uh, Tottenham boys um, and you know they've got a very good attitude and just you know similar sense of humor to most of the guys in Australia so I spent a fair bit of time with Jamie and Ben and um, you know we get them out once a year. And you're here to play Salt again in a couple of weeks? I think so is it Simon? <laughs> Come on out I just took that booking like two minutes. We actually just told him it was a house club on a Saturday night and he freaked out a bit. <laughs> Doing a Friday night mate it's a techno thing. <laughs> 29th of this month, Kazu Kimura, and he's probably going to play teriyaki the same week as well. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So teriyaki as well. Teriyaki's great. You can go as hard as you want. Yeah, you'll like that. <laughs> Welcome, I'm here with uh, Mr. Simon Digby, the uh, head man at Wet Music and several other things. Simon's a very busy man, tell us about what 
you uh, doing, Simon? Uh, we always start. <laughs> uh, what about on the technology? Uh, production wise or yeah, just Jeffins. Um, got some things coming up on Wet Label. We've got I actually heard a new remix of a um, Billy Tales track, Constant Battle, which is mad, absolutely mad, and that's going to get released. Um, Wet Double O's 13. Uh, we've got Valentino remixes of Benchmark coming up. Um, what else we've got? We've got a few things to plug on. We'll see the release sheets. Uh, and what about on the house tip, Simo? Because we know that Simon's a bit of a dirty house man. So. That's right, on the house tip I've released this one. The the strive thing, the strive thing, the strive thing. We have four bottom line with the G5 remixes. So when's the European tour? Uh, it starts in August at you know, Asia, at Kuala Lumpur and Singapore, and then some we get some gigs in East in Europe and up until September first. Is that with Omega Pelotier? Yeah, one of them is with Omega, one of them is um, Omega's return party, one of them party that's going to be in Slovenia and he hasn't made every year. So, uh, it's going to be twice a back year. So, that's going to be a lot. Oh, I'd say so, big time. Yeah. Oh, that's one, yeah. And what about on the, the club front? You're playing any sort of regular gigs? I'm playing an atmosphere every week. Uh, sort of. I'm not taking on too much work, I'm sort of obviously the events like GeForce next week and the events will play for uh, Obviously the events is something like uh, I'm going to focus on plus like a weekly resident but I want to actually spend more time in the studio in the next couple of months. So, uh, yeah. We've heard some of your tracks out of the studio, some of the release stuff. Actually you'll hear them, um, you'll hear them at with 006. Because we're recording the set there, it's going to be a double CD. If I sell from one side, I'll press on the other. And that's where I'm going to sort of like, uh, that's going to be the testing ground, which is exactly what the label parties were designed to do. They were sort of the testing ground for the material. So you'll hear them there, you'll get released to the CD. So. Awesome, look out for Latino sessions. That's a house thing. Yeah, but fire up. <laughs> That's cool. And what about the techno stuff? Have you got any names for these tracks? Yeah, one's called Primal Instincts, which is. What it sounds like, it's very primal and um, sort of vocal stabs playing with like native screams and sort of things going through it. And the other one is um, just the loop I've been working on and uh, I've, yeah, Train of Thought is called at this point of time. Could change, but at this stage it's called Train of Thought. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Simon. No worries, Mike. Have a good one. Thanks. Well, the uh, rest of the night we've got um, Aid Fenton and Dave Clark amongst all the Melbourne greats. Um, should be a pretty banging party. It's been already rocking pretty much capacity crowds in here tonight. Another great rotation party. So, yeah, thank you all.